our next guest is seeking to honor all of the fallen heroes from the war in Afghanistan by literally remembering every single one of their names. Get this, he has memorized over 2,300 names, first, last, and rank, in the order they passed away, and he travels the country writing them on this wall behind us. Unbelievable, Ron White is a Navy veteran and a two-time memory champion. He joins us right now. Ron, it is incredible what you do. I mean, we can just show how far you've come. You start at 3 a.m. this morning, you're almost done. But you do it by memory. You've memorized every single name. Why is this so important to you? Well, I think as a nation, we say, you know, you are not forgotten. But I think we mean it, and we mean that, but we mean it as maybe a whole. You know, they're not forgotten. I wanted to say individually, Specialist Richard Emmons, you are not forgotten. Sergeant Jeffrey Shear, you are not forgotten. Specialist Devin Schneider, you are not forgotten. I wanted to say to every single one, you are not forgotten. And I do that with two ways. I do that with this wall. And then I interview the families and I have a podcast where I tell the stories of, of these men and women on the wall. It is an amazing thing that you're doing. How do you do it, though? I mean, how do you memorize not just the names, but also the information about the names? Well, it's a lot of work. I create pictures, images, to, so I'm seeing pictures whenever I am in, in writing out right. the wall. But it took a year to memorize. It's over 7,000 words, rank, wow. first name, last name. But uh, it's, it's a long process. It's a hard process, but it's worth it right. to keep their memory alive. Uh, you served in Afghanistan as well, so this is a personal thing for you. It's very personal for me, and I have become a better person from the stories that I've heard from the Afghanistan memory wall. You know, you've got First Lieutenant Todd Weaver. Uh, whenever he was over there, he wrote a letter to his wife and a letter to his daughter in the case of his death, and he left those letters on his laptop. And when he died, they got his laptop, and they opened up, and they read it. And I actually read those on my podcast, americasmemory.com. It's a power. It, it's just it, the stories are so inspiring. What does it mean for the families, what you're doing? I mean, this, these are the people. I mean, we see the name there, but they meant so much to their family. You know, that's the reason. The first time I did this, it took me a year to do it, and it was so hard to do, and I almost wanted to, to stop doing it, but it's the families that keep me going. You know, moms and dads will stand at the wall for three or four hours in anticipation of me writing their son's name. That gives name. me chills, Ron. That is incredible. Private First Class Austin Stagg's grandmother stood at the wall for four hours. This is an expensive project, and you were wondering if the American people wanted to help. You're going to tell them how they can. We would really appreciate that. We have no sponsors. We, it, we, this is funded by the American people. If they could go to americasmemory.com, americasmemory.com, grunt style, we've partnered with them, and they've created these T-shirts. Okay. Uh, if they get a, a T-shirt at americasmemory.com, it will really, really help out this project. 100% of the proceeds go to this wall. Uh, it's just to keep it going, to pay our gas in our hotel around the country. Do you have like a wrist exercise that keeps it so it's not sore? You know, <laughs> as I, so long. I memorize, I it took me a year to memorize this. And I, as we started getting closer, I started thinking, oh my gosh, is my hand going to cramp up? So I started doing push-ups every day. <laughs> but believe it or not, my hand didn't cramp up. It was it was my brain, you know, well, that more cramped. Well, that's we understandable. Understand that. With 7,000 yeah. words you need to remember. Are, are you going to finish before the show is over? The goal is to finish almost right at 9 a.m. Wow. Yeah. We'll be checking. We will be checking back in. It's a very cool project. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. America's Thank you memory, America's memory.com.